Tonight we're going to tell you a traveling kind of story. A story that cut across the whispering grasslands, straddled the big back mountains, stepped over the wide mouth rivers, and took us all for a spin. Let's go back now to the slow, sweet, small town time of 1903, when the first Ford was sold. And it all began. Oh, people laughed and whooped. Get yourself a horse, they said. But those Fords kept coming and moving along. Then in 1908, along came a real rambunctious buster of a car, and they call it the Model T. And for 20 years, the T was the symbol of the new American road. It drove up the steps of the White House, it drove from the Atlantic to the Pacific, and it wrote the geography books all over again. The 20s roared in like a golden age, and our golden chariot was the Model A. The Model A was the Charleston, the raccoon coat, and all the laughter of young America. In 29, the first station wagon came along, an oak-sided, square-rigged little ship that could carry just about anything. And of course, it was a Ford. There was the first Ford V8 and 32, with a whip snapper of an engine that would click off the prairie miles better than any engine ever had before. There was the 37 Ford, a gray ghost eagle of a car. There was the 49 Ford, a free-flowing, straight-shouldered car that broke down the old ideas of style. The first truly fine car in the low-priced field. The 57 Ford. The 58 Ford, the 59 Ford, and there they all are, the Fords of a lifetime. And now, even though my story's ending, the Ford story's just beginning. Watch. Presenting the world of 1960, a wonderful new world of Fords. For the first time in history, there will be three completely new kinds of Ford cars. 1960 Fords, the finest Fords of a lifetime. The 1960 Thunderbird, the world's most wanted car. The 1960 Falcon, the new size Ford, the easiest car in the world to own. Coming October 8th, a wonderful new world of Fords.